simplifying certs. Now, when you talk about certs, you must talk about square number, okay? Because you square root a square number, it gives you a nice number, okay? Which is a whole number, if you like. So, I just want to go through a few square numbers that what you, sh you should, okay, you should know. So, the first square number is 1, of course, because 1 square is 1, and then square root 1 is 1. 2 square is 4, okay? So, square root 4, of course, give me 2. 3 squared is 9, so you know that square root 9 is 3. And 4 squared is 16, so square root 16 is 4. And 5 squared 25, square root 25 is 5. And 36 is follow that, so square root 36 is 6. And then 7 squared is 49, you square root 49 of course, give you 7. And 8 squared is 64, you square root 64 is 8. And then so on, square root 18, um, 81 is 9. And then 10 squares 100, so square root 100 is 10. And of course, square root of 121 is 11, because 11 squared is 21. I mean, 121. So please, okay, take note of this. Um, best to know all these uh, square number. It makes it easier, okay? Of course, you're allowed to use calculator. But best if you recognize this, is, is make it um easier for you to simplify sets. Let's move on, just do a couple examples, see how you go. Okay, let's say 50. Now square root 50. So 50 is what square number go in there? Right, 50 is 25 times 2. Okay, so if you're not sure, you can draw factor 3 of course, remember that one? So 50 is 2 times 25. Correct? So this means that 50, square root 50 is square root of 25 times 2. Of course, square root 25 is 5, so your answer is 5 root 2. Because at 2, you cannot do anything. So 5 root 2. Next one here, square root of 60. Now, what square number in there? Now, if you're not sure, okay, of course, I'll show you how to use calculate, how to look for it. So 60, okay, is an even number. So I just try 60, okay, I divide by 2. Okay, it give me 30. So therefore, not a 2 there. So therefore, 2 times 2 is 4. You got 60 divided by 4. Okay, so 15. So 4 times 15. There you go. Okay, so 4 times 15, square root 4 is 2. So your answer is 2 root 15. There you go. So, But if you know your square number, you can just write straight away, of course, 60 is 4 times 15. And square root of that, square root 4 is 2. 2 root 50. Okay, simple. Now, 45. Now, you know that 45 is 9 times 5, because 9 is a square number, so which is equal 9 times 5, so which is square root 9 is 3, the answer is 3 root 5. That's how you simplify, okay? Let's say this one here, 650. Now, 650 is quite, quite a big number. So, the way to go about this, of course, I'll show you again, your calculator. To get the answer quickly now because six, 650 is divisible by 5 right you, you don't don't even try to divide by 10 because 10 you can see 65 and 10 no square number in there all right the way to go about this is you got 650 okay I divided by 5 the answer is 130 therefore 130 is also divisible by 5 so you got 5 and another 5, so 25, all right? So 25 is a square number in there. I try 650, okay, divided by 25. There you go, see? So therefore, 20, 650 is equal to, okay, 25 times 26. So square root 25 is equal to 5. So 5 root, okay, 60. So this is how you do it. Again, another method, I just gone back. So let's say if, if you don't want to use calculator as well, of course, if you're good at it, you can do whichever way you like. And remember I said, you don't bother try 10, because you 10 times that. Of course, if you try to use calculator, you can see that already. So you just go divide by five and five. But do factor three, you can do 10, of course, on this, in this case, if you want to do manually. So 65 times 10, you see? 65 you divide by 5 because divisible by 5. So 5 times uh, what give me 65? So 5 go to 6 is 1, remainder 1. 
say 13. Can you see? And then 5 times 2. So now these two is one of them. So the answer is you can say 5 times 5. You can also write like that, of course, no harm. So you times by 2 and square root. So you know that square root this give me one of those, so which is 5. So then inside here, you can't do anything. 13 times 2 is 26. There you go. You can also do like that. So you can do whichever way you like, but you need to know all your timetable skill and to work it out. But always think of square number whenever you can. It's just, it's just faster, that's all. So that's what you get, right? Okay. Let's move on um, next one. This one here, um, slightly different. Okay, because you've got a 5 in front, but technically it's the same thing. It's just like 5 times uh, 27 square root. That's what that meant. Okay, so 29, okay, this one here, 27 is 9 times 3, isn't it? So just like that. That's all. Is that okay? And then that's that's what it is. So which is 5 times square root of 9 times 3. Then you know that square root 9 is 3. Your answer is 5 times 3 root 3. So 5 times 3 root 3, of course. 5 times 3 is 15. The answer is 15 square root of 3. Cool? All right. Move on. Now, 2 square root of 72. So you know that 72, okay, if you're not sure, okay, straight away, okay, some some of you might just divide by 2, okay? Or you, if you know the answer straight away, 72 is 36 times 2. Else, just you calculate and play around with it, okay? So, which is 2, ta two lots, um, lots of 36 times 2, which is 2 times 6 root 2, because the square root 36 is 6, because because 6 six times 6 is 36. So the answer is 12 root 2. Okay, this is how it works. So now, look at this. Okay, 7 square root of 250. So you know that you can write like that as well. So 250 is 25 times 10, simple one. So which is equal to, okay, this. So 7 times, okay, square root of 25 times 10. So square root 25 is 5. So 7 times 5 root 10. So 7 times 5, so of course 35. So 35 root 10. Okay? Next one. This one here. Okay, 15 square root of 420. Okay? Now 420 is a big number, right? Of course you can do factor 3 and keep simplify. Actually, I do factor 3 for you. Look, this is how, how it works. So 42, just think of the easy one. So for 42 times 10, factor 3, I just quickly write out what I know. And then you get 42 is 2 times 21. See, this one here is 2 times 5. See, this is the square time together. Give me a square number. Okay, so that means, and 21, you can't do anything. 21 is 3 times, you know, 2 times 7. There's no square number in there, so I can't, can't be bothered. So 21 times 5 is 105. So your answer is 4 times, you know, uh, 105. Correct? So which is 4 times 105. So it's square root 15. Otherwise, okay, I show you how to use calculate just in case. You just need to play around with the calculator as well. So let's say 420. Okay, let's say 420. I divide this by 5. See what happened? 84. See, you can see 84 is a 4. It's in there. So you go, then you clear it. So you go 420 divided by 4. Just try an error if you like. See, 4 times 105. And 105, you can't do anything. There's no such a square number in there. So that's it. That's your answer there. And then you just simplify. So which is 2, 15 times 2 square root of 105. And double 15 is 30. Is that all right? Now, let me move on. This one here, 320. Again, 320. So what do you do? 320 is something, 32 is 6 there, correct? So I can, I can just use calculator. You go uh, 320, okay, because I know double 16 is 32. So that means I divide by 16, see what happened, because I know 16 is one of them. See, divide by 16. Now, 20 is another square number in there because 4, correct? So 4 in there as well. So 16 times 4, 
Okay, if you don't know your time table, uh, you double and double again. Otherwise, just 16 times 4 equals 64. So you, I try 320 divided by 64. Can you see that? So 5. So I get 64 times 5. Do you understand? And that's just playing around with calculator and look for the square number. Otherwise, again, you draw factor 3 and then there you, you get the answer anyway. All right, so which is 8 root 5. So next one here, 300, simple one, 300, what square number there? 100, right? 100 in time 3. So which is square 100 is 10, so 10 root 3. You see? All right, 108. Now, 108, if you think about it, if you remember the, the divisible test, because 1 plus 9 is, 1 plus 8 is 9, so divisible by 9. So I can just use calculator like this, if you like. So you go... 108 divided by 9, that give me 12. Now think about it, 12 is another square number in there. 4 is a square number. So 9 times 4 is 36, correct? So 108, 8 divided by 36. See, just, just deal with calculator. So 36 times 3. There you go. Okay? Again, always factor 2 will help. So which is that. Okay, last one, 196, again, 196 is a big number, so what I do, okay, I just use my calculator and then sort it out, like, because a 196, if you think about it, 3 plus 6 is 9, so 9 plus 9, 18, it divisible by 9, okay, so it's 9 is a square number, otherwise, you just divide by 2 and just look for it, but if you know, it's much easier, that's all. So you go 396 divided by 9, okay, which is 44. 44 is not a square number there because 44 is 4 times 11, correct? So 4 and 9. So 4 times 9, 36. So I try 396 divided by 36. There you go. So 36 times 11. There you go. All right, so square root of 36 times 11. So it's 6 root 11. Okay, now if you're still not confident with that, of course, you can always draw factor 3. I just draw on it, okay? So which is 2 times something. Let's say I, I just, even number, I just know it, right? So you, if you, let's say you want to do this way. So 2 go to 3 is 1 remainder 1. 2 go to 19 is 9 time, because 9 time um, 2 is 18, remainder 1, so which is 8. Yes, but you can see it take a lot longer if you do this. And then you can divide by 2. Okay, 2 is 9, remainder 1, so it's 6. So this is square number there. And then you keep on going. Okay, 2 times what? 2 and what? 2 go to 9 is 4, remainder 1, so 48. And then you keep going. Okay, I run out of space. So if you, you can do it this way if you like, but ultimately you're allowed to use calculators. Just play with the calculator and look for the square number. Okay, so that means you get like 36 times 11. And uh, that's, that's your answer there. And thank you so much for watching.